Arizona Search Dogs is a group of handlers that have come together to acquire, train, and nationally certify disaster search dogs. So they can go out to places like Katrina, Ike, the World Trade Center, and find missing people that are trapped, locate them, we'll identify them, and then we've got people that'll come in and get them out. It takes, on an average, two years to get a dog up to speed to where he can consistently do this in a, in a different place, a different environment under the conditions that we ask him to work. So we have to layer the dogs so we don't lose them all in one graduating class. If we had a class of seniors and we started with freshmen, we'd be out of service for two or three years and we can't do that. Just a little over a year right now, we've developed a partnership with our Phoenix Police Department, specifically the Missing Persons Bureau. So now the dogs are starting to be used locally for Alzheimer's, missing hikers, missing mountain bikers, and that's working out well. And it gives our folks a chance to really work the dog. You spend two years training a dog, it's nice to be able to go out and really test it and use it on a regular basis instead of waiting for the phone to ring for a national disaster. And, and so that works out really, really well. Oh, get it, huh? Oh, yeah, get it. When a disaster strikes, these amazing dogs are one of the first responders to help out. They're part of the Arizona Search Dog Team. The work of these amazing dogs and their trainers have earned them this month's 12 Who Care Award. Canine handler John Dean and our 12 Who Care partner, of course, Daniel Selznick from the Room Store, are both here with more. Good to see you both. Pleasure. Absolutely. Thank you for coming in. Thanks for having us. All right, let's talk about the team. Can you explain what it is? It's a group of individuals that trains and certifies urban disaster search dogs. Katrina, Rita, World Trade Center, they'll go into a down building, a collapsed structure. They'll find people that we think are in there but can't locate. They have a focused bark alert, and that bark alert's where we dig and hopefully pull them out alive. How do you train them to do a job like this? Their play drive is the main reason for doing that. They want the toy. I wish I could say that Lassie would get Timmy out of the well just because it was the right thing to do, but there's a toy in it for him. They know the victim is going to come out of that hole and play with them, so they, they really want the toy. It's like a day at the park for them. Yeah. And speaking of, I mean, we have a dog here. Tell me who we have here. This is Ben. He's one of our search dogs. And Ben is pretty excited about something here. Tell me about it. Well, the best we could do for a disaster on set here was to get a handler underneath the tarp but it still simulates what he can smell but can't see. Hopefully he'll come and bark and she'll come out and play with him. And that's okay, show us how it works. Ben, you ready to go to work? Go. Fine. So is he trying to get your attention now? When you hear that bark, you know everything's done and you just mark it with some paint and move on to the next victim and then we have a rescue squad that'll come and extricate the person. Now, is that how these dogs are trained, with something like you just showed us? Everybody's got a toy. Each dog kind of has their favorite toy. It's just all about motivation. The way we train is that we want the dog to work, not to have to work. And hence, you can see he wants to work, and that's his reward. Tell me about some of the places you've been. Went to the World Trade Center, Katrina, Rita, Gustav and Ike. Stood by for the Winter Olympics up at Salt Lake City. Sometime back in about 2000, they had the tornado in downtown Dallas, Fort Worth, and we were able to go there and search some buildings and, and provide a lot of help to those people. And what's that like, to be in a situation like that with your canine? It's pretty neat to have a partner like that that you've trained with, that you live with, you spend a lot of time with, put it all together and watch them work. It, it, uh, it's pretty darn nice. And there's a lot of advances, too, with technology. I'm sure that's going to help them in the future. It would surprise me in my career if technology can outdo what a dog can do. Really? Uh, it's, just, it's just that nose is, is so tremendous in their ability, and they just keep getting better. They do things that we don't even train them for. Eventually, they'll go downwind and then come back with their wind into the nose, and that's not something we really train. It's just something that evolves, and they pick up on their own, and it works real well for us. The more consistent, the more repetition that we provide for them, the better they get at what they do. All right, it's so great to see what you guys are doing. And Daniel, what do you think when you hear about these stories? 
Well, it's, it's amazing that uh, what they can do, and uh, you know how at the at the end of the day they're they're helping other people that are obviously in distress. Yeah, it's so terrific to have an organization like this, and they did earn our 12 Who Care Award. Why are you guys, the Room Store, involved in 12 Who Care? Well, we're we're about giving back, and uh, and this is certainly one of those one of those real issues that gives us an opportunity to do that. Yeah, absolutely, and you're going to actually give the award right now, um, so you can go ahead and hand that over. You are you are this month's uh, award recipient. Congratulations for all your good work. Thank you very much. Pleasure, uh-huh. absolutely. It's really great. We're so happy and congratulations to you and thank you for presenting that, Daniel. Um, How can people help out and get involved? We've got a website. I think it's entertaining and it's also informative. I think if they go there, they can learn more about what the dogs do and there's lots of options to help there. You can go everywhere from help us purchase another duck because they don't last too long (laughs) to uh, help us purchase a puppy if, if, if you'd like to do that. Well, thanks for being on today. That website, by the way, is ArizonaSearchDogs.com, ArizonaSearchDogs.com. And if you have a nonprofit you'd like to nominate for 12 Food Care, go to 12foodcare.azcentral.com. Thank you all for being here today. We appreciate it. Thank you.